Hello, Vinyl community. This is Randy, and this is my entry into a contest for Robert's on my turntable. Robert's trying to get to 300 subscribers, so let's get him there. Uh, he's going through his collection right now from A to Z. I think he's on XYZ, actually, right now, so he's at the end of it, but you can go back and watch the other ones and see uh, what a varied collection that he has. And the first thing he wanted to do for us to do in this contest, as it's a, an October-themed one, is to spell October. So, first uh, one I have is a group called Old Man's Will. And this is their album, Hard Times Troubled Man. But Old Man's Will is a uh, kind of a southern rock via Sweden. Uh, a little Led Zeppelin thrown in. Uh, they're on Writing Easy Records, which has some amazing stuff with hard rock and garage rock, psychedelic rock, uh, Writing Easy. Uh, I suggest anybody check uh, them out. They have some fine releases. This one came out in 2015. Like I said, they were from Sweden, and that's my O for starting October. Second letter is C in October, and I'm going to show the Connells. And this is their debut album called Darker Days. They're from Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, Jangle Pop in 1985. This one came out. Uh, it's on the Blackjack label. Their next album called Boyland Heights is probably their best one. Uh, but wonderful Jangle Pop out of North Carolina. So O, C, and T would be the next letter. And for that, I've got the text tones. Group started by Carla Olson. Uh, kind of roots rockish, folk rock, I guess. Uh, let me get my glasses on to see what this label is. Gold Mountain label. I guess it's part of A&M Records. I don't know. Maybe distributed. But... Uh, the text tones. Uh, on this one, they do a really good cover of Bob Dylan's Clean Cut Kid. And Carla Olson did some solo work as well, but that's the text tones for my T. For my next O, O C T O. Ah, oh, man. Can't get it out of this thing. It's uh, Oingo Boingo, even though it just says Boingo there, but they're. They are. Boingo Boingo. This is a live album. Uh, came out in 1988. But the, they're kind of new wavish with some uh, ska influences. Uh, well, wonderful group. Boingo Boingo. Alive. So, OCTB. So B would be the next letter, and I'm using the Roots Rock group, The Beat Farmers. This is their debut album. Really love the song Goldmine on here. This is called Tales of the New West. Hmm. We got the Beat Farmers almanac inside. Uh, guess maybe I should keep these on. Oh, this is a Rhino, so this must be a reissue. I'm not sure. Is or, is or not. This originally came out in the 80s. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think around 85, maybe. Eight. The Beat Farmers for my next for B. And the next letter would be E, O-C-T-B-E. This is the Esquires, wonderful R&B. Uh, Millard Edwards, who was with the doo-wop soul group, The Shepherds, went on to be uh, one of the lead singers in this group. And their big hit was Get On Up, and also And Get Away, which they call it Get On Up and Get Away. Their two biggest hits. I think this is their only album that they released. 
This is on Bunky, which was Bunky Shepherd, the producer's label, um, out of Chicago. But uh, they did have some compilations that came on some other albums. But uh, Millard Edwards had just wonderful voice. So that's my E, the Esquires. And last but not least, O-C-T-B-E-R. That group's going to be the Roos Rock group, the Rave Ups. This album came out in 1985. And this is their debut as well. I had a lot of debuts on here. And fun stuff. Records. But uh, anybody that's a uh, fan of the AMC Motor Car Company might like uh, In My Gremlin that he does on here. But uh, wonderful uh, roots rock, cow punk, whatever you want to call it, uh, from the 80s, the Rave Ups. So that was my October. The next part of the contest was to show five to 10 albums released in October uh, in different years. And I'll get my glasses on so we don't have these all memorized. So the first one, and I'm gonna show five, is Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. by Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, this came out in October 19, 1964. This was their debut. Has the acoustic version of Sounds of Silence. Uh, that's a good album. They would, they would have better later. Next one I'm going to show is from October 27, released in October 27, 1967. And that is 10 years after their album, A Space and Time. This would have their biggest hit, which was I'd Love to Change the World. But it's a solid album all, all together. It's maybe one of their best. And it's on Columbia. Yeah. On Columbia. And next is uh, Led Zeppelin's debut album which came out in October 12, 1969. Some think this is their best. Uh, this, was, this was a reissue on the Atlantic. Uh, I'm still, I think I, I, uh, Led Zeppelin IV is the best, but this has a lot of great tunes like Good Times, Bad Times, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You, Dazed and Confused, Communication Breakdown. Still a classic album. Uh, next, from October 30th, released October 30th, 1970, is Elton John's Tumbleweed Connection, his third album. It has one of my favorite songs on it, Burn Down the Mission. Uh, but really great Elton album, uh, Tumbleweed Connection. And the last one I'm going to show is, was released October 1, 1971. And it's uh, Jerry Lee Lewis and Would You Take Another Chance on Me. This is in his country period. Uh, it was on Mercury. Uh, the title track would place number one on the country charts. And he also had his last uh, pop hit, which is reworking of Me and Bobby McGee. But uh, this is the last one for the albums released in October. Next, in fitting with the October theme, he wanted us to show labels with fall colors. So he wanted yellow, orange, or red label uh, labels. Five to 10, I picked five again. Then we'll start off with uh, Mott and Mott the Hoople. And they were on Columbia, the Red Columbia. And this has the 
This is actually the U.S. version. This is the uh, British version it has a different cover than this. But uh, they have the wonderful song, uh, Ballad of Moth the Hoople, everyone needs to hear. And it's, it's a great song. So that's my first one. Next. I have an orange level, orange level, orange label, an epic for the group Poco. Very underrated group. Uh, one of my favorite songs of theirs, Magnolia, is on this album. Uh, album Crazy Eyes. Uh, next. There's a group you might have heard of, uh, the Rolling Stones. Goat's Head Soup, which they just had a re-release. My album's still in very good shape, but the cover can use a little better cover, I guess. Famous yellow label. So the Rolling Stones. And next I have uh, one of the greatest singer songwriters, uh, Guy Clark. This is his album Old Friends. And he's on the Sugar Hill label. Which is an orange label. And this album has the great song All Through Thrown Good Love After Bad. Really like heavy metal as well. It's a wonderful song. Not about the music. And last but not least. The show on the Yellow Sire label is the Talking Heads. And their album, More Songs About Buildings and Food, which has their version of Al Green's Take Me to the River. Uh, great song. Everyone needs to see the movie Stop Making Sense. I think it has a really great version of that as well. And those are my labels. And as next one is fitting in with the October theme and Halloween in October. We wanted us to show five to 10 scary album covers. And I picked five again. And the first one is UK group the the and kind of a scary cover i would say or is that good? on epic and kind of uh alternative rock i guess you would call it uh matt johnson's the leader but a wonderful album called infected by the the next one got a lot of little ghouls on here is the group fight a small deadly space uh bob hofford from uh judas priest uh, started this group and this was a record store day release and Fight and some ghoulish figures on the front of that. Next is a record given to me, or oh, I won in a contest from Aaron Mutha Alamer, who's pushing me into dipping my feet into the pool of heavy metal. This the classic album by Iron Maiden with some scariness on top. Well, I think all their covers did, but. Uh, This is a wonderful album. We got a nice uh, label there as well. But uh, Iron Maiden, The Number of the Beast, the classic uh, 
Heavy Metal Iron Maiden album. And one of my favorites from this year, released in 2020, is Close Lobsters. And there's the name of the album. Uh, I'm not very good at pronouncing that one for sure. And Wonderful Jangle Pop. Uh, they didn't release anything for what, like 30 years and then put this album out. And Wonderful, wonderful album. They had lost a step. Uh, the Close Lobsters, great jangle pop. And the other one vying for my favorite one of this year is a Swedish group, the Goners. And let's choose with the skeleton there. Uh, this is on Writing Easy Records. Um, kind of black and blue label. Uh, writing easy label and which I, I would advise anybody to get to check out writing easy this is garage rock meets uh, harder rock a little surf guitar in there um, also been called stoner rock but it's really garagey and they do all kinds of different things on this one which it's still cohesive though, even though they try a lot of different styles. But uh, I just love this record by the Swedish group of the Goners. And his last uh, part of the contest was to tell your goals for the channel. Well, I don't know, goal as a whole. That's what I used to say. But uh, I don't really have any goals. My only goal was to have fun. And I'm doing that and discovering other people's channels and discovering new music and wanting to share some of the music I love, maybe someone else will discover something as well. And so having fun is my goal. Thanks uh, for hosting the contest, Robert. Good luck. And I'm sure you'll have those 300 subscribers very soon. Thanks.